So I'm going to take a look at number 30 from chapter 3 in the textbook. Um, and you can read this problem um, right above. It gives me the active ingredient in antiperspirant, and it gives me the formula. It gives me Al2OH5Cl. And it tells me that there's a 2-gram sample of antiperspirant. So the 2 grams is not the mass of the Al2OH5Cl. It is the mass of the entire antiperspirant, which just happens to contain that active ingredient. Um, and they give me the mass of aluminum only that's in that particular sample. And they want to know what percent by mass is the aluminum chlorohydrate, which is the Al2OH5Cl, um, in the original antiperspirant. So to do this, um, this is techniques that we've seen before. It's just a little bit different in the sense that we're starting from an isolated element and we want to turn that into a compound, whereas other questions we've looked at, we started with the compound and wanted to isolate just an element. So I'm starting, I'm going to start with what they gave me in the problem, 0.334 grams of just aluminum. I don't want the mass of aluminum only, I want the mass of the aluminum chlorohydrate. I want the mass of the Al2OH5Cl. So I'm going to make a conversion factor and I want grams of Al on the bottom so that it cancels out with what I have to start with. And I actually want the mass, the grams of Al2OH5Cl on top. And I can use as my conversion factor um, the molar mass of the aluminum chlorohydrate. So if I did out the molar mass, there's two Al's, there's five O's, there's five H's, there's one Cl. It's about 174.4 grams of aluminum chlorohydrate. Um, and if I look at that, okay, in every one formula, there's two aluminums. Each aluminum weighs 27. So I have 2 times 27, or if you wanted to do that out, you could, um, in the denominator. And it's kind of like a mass percent setup where I flipped it, though. Instead of doing part over whole, I'm doing whole over part. So in my calculator, I can do this, and I end up getting 1.08 grams of the aluminum chlorohydrate. Another way I could have isolated out that mass, if you're more comfortable doing it this other way. Okay, I'm given grams of Al. Again, my goal is to, trans, um, to translate this into grams of aluminum chlorohydrate. Now, when I'm looking at a formula, I'm always looking at mole ratios. That's what the subscripts represent. They don't represent mass ratios. So if you're more comfortable, and I always say, when in doubt, mole it out, I'm going to convert from grams of aluminum into moles. And I can do that with the molar mass. So I want grams of Al on the bottom. I want moles of Al on the top. And I always put the molar mass where I have the G. So in every 27 grams of aluminum, I have one mole of Al. Grams of aluminum cancel out. Now I'm in moles of aluminum. I don't want to be in moles of aluminum. I want to be in moles of aluminum, of aluminum chlorohydrate. So I want moles of Al on the bottom. I want moles of aluminum chlorohydrate on the top. Excuse my handwriting, trying to squeeze that in. All right. And I can get the ratio that should go here, kind of from the subscript. So if I look at the subscript, um, there's two moles of Al in every one mole of the entire thing. Um, and then I'm not in grams, which is what I want to be in, so I can do one more conversion factor. Um, in every one mole of Al2OH5Cl, all right, I can say, all right, I can use the formula mass or the molar mass. There's 174.4 grams of aluminum chlorohydrate. And I'm being very specific about my units, especially when I am converting from moles or grams of one substance into moles or grams of another substance. So notice that all my conversion factors are not just grams and moles, they're specific. They're grams and moles of what? And that will help guide you in your problem solving process and kind of lead you to your next steps. Um, when I do out the bottom one, I'll end up getting the same exact answer, 1.08 grams of aluminum chlorohydrate. 
Now I'm almost done. Um, the question doesn't just ask me for the grams of aluminum chlorohydrate, it asks me for the percent by mass. So I have to remember my percent by mass equation, which is the mass of the part over the mass of the whole times 100. So the mass of my part is the chloro, the aluminum chlorohydrate, so I have 1.08 grams. The mass of my whole was given in the problem statement, the whole antiperspirant, and I multiply it by 100, and I end up getting about 54%.